Alrighty guys, so today we're fishing for a topwater striped bass in the shallow flat area. It's about three feet deep. Believe it or not, right now it's pretty low. So we're gonna be using the Tsunami Talking Popper. Talking Popper, it's a seven inch in the blue mackerel. And I just have some, uh, this is just cheap mono leader I'm using for it. Nothing crazy. Um, then I have my little seven foot rod, 20 pound braid for our fishing for, ooh, for our fishing for bigger fish. I would use a little bit heavier line, probably 30. Um, but I don't need to. I'm fishing for my kayak and there's not a ton of structure and stuff to get stuck on, so I don't have to horse them out too hard. So yeah, seven foot rod. This is rated up to three ounces, which this seven inch talking popper is three ounces. So you need a rod with some backbone to chuck some of these top waters. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, a little 4,000 reel, Daiwa Saltist. And then, um, when I'm fishing from a kayak, I want to make sure the butt end of the rod's a little shorter. Some of the rods that I use in my kayak, I have cut down rods that I'm no lot that I wasn't really fond of in their other state, so I ended up trimming down the butt section to make them work. So I'll show you a couple different ways to retrieve this thing, but as the name implies, popper. So these things will just float naturally on their own. They're not like needlefish and other plugs where you need to retrieve them to keep them on the surface. This will float just fine. And then the front of the popper itself is cupped to sort of um, give it that popping effect. So it'll make bubbles on the top and it'll make the plunking sound just like that. So it's for, they're pretty simple to work. So you don't have to work too hard to use these things. So let me show you a couple different ways you can use this. All right, guys, let me show you how to retrieve this thing quick. So this is so three ounce lure. This rod's rated up to three ounces. All right, so cast it out. I start feathering the line before it lands to keep the, the butt end of the plug out farther so it doesn't tangle. So a couple different ways you can retrieve this. So you can just do pop, pop like that. And it should, you should see splashing on the surface. You could just do this or you can vary it up. You do pop, pop, pause, pop, pop, pause, pop, pop, pause, or you can, sometimes you can shimmy it or you can switch it up a little bit. So today the water is pretty calm for the most part. So you can get away with holding the rod a little bit lower. If it were a little windier, a little choppier, if you were to hold the rod lower and re retrieve it like that, the plug, even though it's a floating, might want to dive under and it won't get the, um, the presentation that you need. So today I can get away with a little, bit, a little bit lower rod tip. Now, if it were windier out, you want to obviously keep your rod tip higher. Chuck this thing out. Just keep your rod tip higher. Um, sometimes if it, the plug does dive down and it's not popping right away, give it a second to come back up and you can hold your rod tip higher and just pop it that way. And that's really all you do. And um, sometimes when like I'm, say I'm popping it like this, just regular intervals and something is chasing it, I might slow it down for a second. I might do a pause a little bit longer than normal. Depends on what the fish want. Um, other times if they're chasing, they, they miss it two or three times, I'll do, um, I'll just slow it down and do like a shimmy. sometimes that's that's what you need to get them to bite so every day is a little bit different yeah these lures are really easy to use so don't don't be intimidated to use them um, this tsunami talking popper I think was like 10 to 12 bucks it wasn't much so it's the cheaper of the bunch but it seems to work really well Ooh. That was a nice hit. Very scrappy little fish.
Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one right there. Not huge, but... Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a big fish. Uh, not big, but you know what I mean. I'm happy with it. First, first keeper of the year. Soon to be probably pop off soon. He's probably gonna come off. That's a nice fish. Oh my goodness. I'm just curious what he is. I wanna keep one this year, but we'll see. That thing's fat. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's over. Dang. Oh, over slot. So he's like 33. That's a nice fish though. Oh. Look at all the fish lice on him. Huh. He's got a lot. That thing slammed that lure though. That's, that's a nice fish. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, it's like, it's very ch very fat. All right. That thing slammed that lure though, that was cool. Getting ready? Come on. Not yet, huh. Oh, there he goes, all right. Ready to go, bud? Just checking on you. There he goes, he's swimming. All right, there you go. Oh. Come on. Taking a sweet time. There you go. Sweet. Miss. All right, let it sit. Twitch, 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 twitch. And then you got him, that's it. Sometimes just changing the retrieve just a little bit when they're chasing it is enough to just, just to make them bite. Oh man, it's another uh, decent one. There's another one behind him. I'm a, maybe a keeper, maybe. The last one was over. Wow, some decent fish in here today. That's good. He looks like a 30. So right now they have to be between 30, or sorry, 28 and less than 31. So that might be my... I only keep one or two a year if I'm lucky. One striper lasts me oh, lasts me quite a while. Oh. All right, let's get him. Oh. One second. Oh, there we go. Oh, how'd those get back there?
Yeah, these things are fat and they're covered with sea lice. Uh, oh, no, he's sure I could already tell. Oh yeah, he's like 27. I'm not even gonna bother. Nice fish though. There he goes. That was a miss. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Hopefully he's not foul hooked in. It's a, it's a schoolie. Oh no, that's not a schoolie. Oh, I still want that hook flying out at me. Some nice fish in here today. Oh, that might be over. That might be over. over it's all right that was a nice fish though all right Oh, it's right there. Wow, look, four stripers right there. Look, one right there. Got him. Ooh, 
fish everywhere. Schoolie. It's actually a decent one. Looking for one keeper this year, maybe one or two. I don't keep very many stripers. So I usually keep one, maybe two if I'm lucky, but we'll see. So right now they need to be between ooh, 20, what is it? 28 to 31 to less than 31. Let me rephrase that. Which this might be, it's close. Might be a little short. Probably pop off, we'll see. He's short, but we will look. Let's see. Oh, wow, he is a little bit above 28, 28 and a quarter. All right, all right, we're gonna keep him. Like I said, don't get mad. I keep one or two a year, so I don't feel bad about keeping a striper here and there. So we're going to keep him. He'll probably make dinners for a couple months, so he should be good. All right, I'm going to bleed this thing out. I'm obviously not going to record it for you squeamish people. So he'll get knocked out and then he'll get bled and then we'll be good.
Ooh. All right. Didn't even hear a pop from him. Look at all the fish around me. Holy smokes. It's a little, little schooly. That was a nice hit. <laughs> Feels like a schoolie. Oh, that ain't no schoolie. That's a no. Yeah. Let's get him off quick. Yeah, he's a whew, chunky fish. There we go. That one took it. fish. Be free, my son. All right, guys. So that is it for this top water striper video. Um, caught one slot size fish and caught a decent amount of everything else. So got a couple oversized fish, which are 31 and over, which is weird to say. Um, plenty of fish around. Most of them are still seeing sipping off cinder worms, which is making it a little bit tough, but there are a few cooperative fish around. This pretty much they're eating right next to my kayak right now. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. I'm hoping that the cinder worm stuff slows down. I'm surprised there's the cinder worm thing is still going on right now. Um, so I want to get some live eels and start chucking them out there for some larger fish. So if you like this video or at least found it entertaining, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you.